This is Frankly Speaking with Muywa Afolabi. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves and please receive Muywa Afolabi, your practical career success coach. Enjoy. is more beautiful when you allow yourself to appreciate the little things uh, the little things uh, every day is more complete when you can enjoy uh, the simple things uh, the simple things uh, a little more convenient and go a long long way you'll be amazed how much time you save you when you leave the star nine of our hush and Star 904 hash Oh yeah, great to shop, shop, retard like Pam, 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 pam Star 904 hash Wherever you are to reload is easy like Pam, 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 pam Star 904 hash Shows down Star 904 star The amount you want to recharge and hash And with one single dial you recharge like Pam, 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 pam Buy airtime instantly, directly from your bank account Simply dial Star 904 star The amount of airtime you want and hash Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. Hope you're doing great this morning. Welcome to Frankly Speaking, your favorite business, career, and mindset talk show on radio. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. It's a pleasure to share time with you again this morning. Today, I want to share something with you on your name. Your name. So, this one I have titled, What is your name? What is your name? I concluded a three-hour speaking engagement and interaction with a team in a high-profile company somewhere in East Africa. And as soon as I was done, a very attractive lady in her early 30s, as it seemed, came up to me and began to gist about the company. She talked about the business ambition, the challenges encountered, and how they've tried very hard to inspire and motivate the team to do better. Uh, she spoke quite well about the leadership of the business and how they are very smart, ambitious, and passionate about success. She spoke well of her colleagues too and began to tell me how they would ensure they apply the principles I shared on effective teamwork for sustainable growth, expansion, and transformation in Africa. Uh, she was also the head of the protocol team that received me. And as soon as she was done with the gist, she went to call up her driver who was to take me back to the airport. Immediately she left. Another lady she earlier introduced as her best friend walked up to me and whispered a warning with a concerned expression on her face. She told me to be careful with the lady, that she is very cunning and she is a home wrecker. Huh. She told me this beautiful lady is a single mother of two and she has a reputation for wrecking people's marriages. Huh. I was surprised this information was coming from a so-called best friend. I thanked her and said nothing more. I got into the car of the beautiful woman that was being talked about and as I made my way to the airport with her driver behind the steering wheel, he suddenly looked at me in the rear view mirror and began to speak. I saw you speaking to my madame for a long while earlier. She's a good woman but be careful with her. She can trouble your marriage. I was shocked her driver too is saying the same thing her best friend had said to me earlier. I said nothing. I ignored his comment and focused on a book I was reading. A couple of days after I arrived in Nigeria, the leader of the team I went to engage called me to thank me for coming and as the gist continued, he suddenly asked about the same lady who was his head of protocol. He asked if she's been in touch with me. I said no. Suddenly, he said it summarily. Just watch out. She's not someone you want to be close to, especially if you're married. She's a good person, but be careful with her. I suddenly became weak. Her best friend, her driver, now her boss? Wow, no, this is too much. This is bad. Ladies and gentlemen, what is your name? Many of us simply think of a name as what someone or something is called. We simply interpret a name as a word that identifies or references a person, a place, or a thing. We see a name as the word that differentiates people, places, and things. We name things, we name people and places so that when we call or mention, people can identify them easily. I presume you'll simply define your name this morning as what you're called. 
Your name is what people call you and you respond to. Your name is your identification word. Your name is simply what you're called, you may think. Uh, however, I've heard it said several times and in several places that a good name is better than silver and gold. So what is it that makes a name good or bad? Is it the sound or meaning of the name? <laughs> I do not think so. Ladies and gentlemen, may I say this morning that your name is actually not just about identifying you. Your name is not just about differentiating you. Your name is not just what people call you. In actual fact, your name is you. <laughs> your name is the total sum of your person, your character, your behaviors, and your reputation. Your name belongs to you, but it's for other people to use and interpret. Your name, my dear friend, is actually your reputation. Your name is the summary of your record in life so far. The interpretation people give to your person when you are mentioned is your name. How people feel when you are mentioned is your name. How people react when you are mentioned is your name. The conclusion people draw when you are mentioned is your name. When people feel inspired, encouraged, motivated, happy and comfortable when your name is called, you have a good name. When people feel bad, insecure, threatened, intimidated and afraid when you're mentioned, you have a bad name. When people become suspicious, overly careful, distrusting and doubtful when you're mentioned, you have a negative name. Huh. Your name, therefore, is not just a matter of differentiation or reference. It is a summary of your life and reputation thus far. Names open doors and names shut doors. Names create opportunities and names destroy opportunities. Names enhance the reputation and equity of companies and names destroy the reputation and crashes the share price of businesses. Ah. There's a song for every mood. That's what you play when she says, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's me. And this is what plays when she tries to get back into your heart. And this is what you play when you're with Bay or Boo. So get the right playlist for every mood on Music Plus, the number one streaming platform in Nigeria and Africa. For local and over 3 million international songs, download the Music Plus app on Google Play and Apple App Stores or text MUSIC to 5900 to enjoy unlimited streaming, offline streaming and flexible price plans. It's available on all devices, so get it. Music Plus. Music Unlimited. Dear friend, again I ask, what? Is your name what is the meaning of your name to the people around and in your life what is the summary statement that follows the mention of your name what do people think how do people feel when your name is mentioned one of the greatest investments you should make in this life is in your name your name should mean something positive your name should symbolize something powerful your name should communicate something great your name should inspire something phenomenal uh, are you building your name or destroying your name? Many of us are too busy loving ourselves, doing what we like and behaving as we like, with no respect or reckon for our names built through reputation. As humans, we are not permitted to live and behave as we feel or like. We are expected to behave and do things as it's right. By nature, all humans are selfish and disciplined and immoral. We want to indulge in fleshly things. We want to act as we like, dress as we like, talk as we like and do what we like. However, all we do daily, keep adding value or diminishing the value of our names. Uh, the power to excel, succeed and achieve greatness is very much connected to what our names symbolize. Our people want to connect, relate and work with you based on your reputation. Your reputation is a consequence of the things you do daily, either good or bad. Your words every day, your choices every day, your appearance every day, your association every day and the quality of your work every day is building a reputation for you. And this reputation will determine how the world and life will react and respond to your name, either good or bad. Your name is an embodiment of your reputation. Every time a name is called and it's followed by the question, who is he? Your reputation narrative is what follows. The dangerous thing about your name and reputation is that its use, its power and deployment does not lie with you but with others. You don't own your reputation. 
people do and what they say it is, is what it is. The innocent lady I encountered at the retreat had no clue her best friend, her driver and even her boss had talked to me on her reputation without her consent or knowledge. Her reputation, though hers, is meant for others to use as they deem fit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what is your name? When you cheat, when you swindle, when you're dishonest, when you're oppressive, when you're corrupt, when you steal, when you demand bribe from innocent people, suppliers and vendors, they may give you all right, but they will broadcast your name and build you a reputation in the industry. A bad reputation can close great doors against you as an employee, as a businessman, as an artisan or even an employer. As a married man, what is your reputation? As a married woman, what is your reputation? As a bachelor, what is your reputation? As a single lady, what is your reputation? What is your reputation on social media? Could it work against your possible marriage to a fantastic, kind and loving spouse? Could it work against you in employment? Perception is very important in life. Even when you do good, people want to make you look bad, much less when you're doing bad things steady. Uh, Please don't deceive yourself saying you don't care what people say. It is their problem. No, it is your problem as well. Today, I'm careful about this lady I met at the retreat. It doesn't matter who she really is. She has a bad reputation and it's affecting her opportunities with me. Your name matters. Your reputation count. Protect it. Guard it jealously. Ladies and gentlemen, ask yourself this important question today. What is your name? My dear friends, Franklin Speaking Online Seminars for February is on. It holds every Thursday evening in February on WhatsApp. The topic this Thursday is Personal Branding for Career Success. Personal Branding for Career Success. It is the most branded employee that leads the organization eventually, not the most qualified or hardworking. Join us this Thursday to learn the secret of personal branding. Subscription to this engagement is 5,000 Naira monthly. Transform your life this year. Right from the comfort of your home, your car or office, join me on this platform on Thursday. Call 706-349-6599 for inclusion details. My dear friend, I believe you've been inspired by the show today. For contact details, simply visit my website. It's www.mwiwaafalabi.com. Till I come your way again, same time, same station tomorrow for another inspiring episode of your favorite talk show. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. Please enjoy your day. You don't think we empty end on the paint everywhere, yellow? So then we paint the cow and water, yellow? Hey, <laughs> that time we self. Now only call and text message CD. Now, Uncle, we don't ready to make your life even brighter with our new empty end, Nafu Nafu Sane. We got plenty, plenty better inside. This one, now be better when you could collect it more, more like a contribution, no? This one, now see the heart. Just buy empty end, Nafu Nafu Sane. Load 100 Nera before you open your eye, close up. 800 Nera, don't sit down, they wait for you inside your phone and no carry water for mouth load 100 nera and 800 nera don't be your phone the way to make you take a call any network or browsers you like the one we can suit me passing and see anytime when you load credit don't, don't open with that to make you begin to use whatsapp for free without any money so therefore begin to send that picture to Inkichi or that video to Sandra anywhere with them day what do you they waiting for carry waka go buy your new empty and sim make you begin enjoy nyafo nyafo Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Falabi, a production of Frontiers International Services Limited, is proudly brought to you by MTN. Everywhere you go.